Thanksgiving is about family and tradition. It also means the beginning of the basketball season is near. And as our Luke Gamble tells us, one North Dakota family is deeply rooted in the tradition of high school hoops, passed down from generations and shared with others each year. If you've been on the hardwood in North Dakota, chances are you've also been in the Hoopster, an annual basketball preview book that's been around for 41 years. 1983-84, there was the very first Hoopster right there. It's a tradition started by Don Hansen, longtime high school basketball coach. He won the tip and held the ball for three minutes, all three overtimes until they finally made a bucket to win it. In sports aficionado, who shared his passion for preps hoops with the entire state through a book filled with stats, projections, and history. Basketball just was always his first love and, and the sport in North Dakota is, is really big. He just had a genuine love for it. We, every one of us has just kind of taken that on and we just We've all been basketball coaches, every one of us. With Don's health declining, his son Perry took over as editor, a basketball coach and educator himself, sharing the same passion as his dad. I would take it over to him at that time. He was in a nursing home, and I would just go over and spend nights with him and say, here, here's what I've got for pages. How do they look? And amazingly, he could look through the pages and go, no, you need to move this here for this reason. You need to move this here for this reason. And, and so I learned a lot as I as I went. Don died in 2018, but there was never a doubt the Hoopster tradition would continue. It's a it's a rewarding thing for us, and I guess being a teacher and a coach, it's kind of why you were you were brought up to kind of take care of kids. And so I think you know you hear a lot about how they were they could read about their days in the Hoopster book, you know, as, as a preview. And I think that it, it obviously means a lot to the people in North Dakota. From salesman to editor. Perry's seen the book change substantially over the years. He would write the story about Fargo South. With the biggest movement being the digital era. I'll never forget the first time I told Dad. I said, Dad, you can email this. He goes, well, they aren't going to answer us. Oh, I think they will. And so the book has grown from shelves to computers. But the idea remains the same. I switched it to more of a informational type page. Give local athletes the recognition they deserve and uphold the Hanson Hoopster legacy. I feel pretty comfortable that, that we've done a, a fairly good job of keeping up his legacy. Um, I didn't realize the overall volume of work that was needed to put a book together until that first full year. And then you just kind of get to see how much dad did. And then that's when I realized that it's, it's awfully nice to keep this in the family. And with every turning page. That was in this 20. 25th edition. The thought of his dad remains in the back of Perry's mind. Yep. Reporting for KX Sports, I'm Luke Gamble. Perry says as long as the people of North Dakota keep supporting him, he'll continue the hoopster. And maybe even one day his son will take over and continue the family tradition.